are you? Hey? Hello. You ready to go? Building construction in the United States. This company built the Pentagon. Mm. In contract with the Pentagon. He also refurbished the White House at one time. And he built a lot of the state buildings in Washington. He was known as the man that built Washington. John oh. Hatchet. Only the one daughter, she became a nun. She joined the convent in the United States. An only child. So they purchased the estate here in 1956, and they retired back here to live in 1958. Oh, yeah. And they lived at Killarney House, which is the mansion house for the estate. In 1974, they donated the land to the estate, but they kept possession of the house. And they continued to live here until they both died. Mr. McShane died in 1989, Mrs. McShane died in 1998, and they were both in their 90s when they died. So their home then, it automatically went to the state, it now has been restored and opened to the public. You get tours of the house, you know. Mm -hmm. Hey Mike, why don't you keep it? You know, mm -hmm. we get by the lake. Now there's an old gamekeeper's cottage, 1839 or 1834. This cottage was built. 1834. They use it as a tea rooms today, which is run by Down Syndrome Ireland. Mm. All proceeds go to the charity, and the boys and girls with Down Syndrome they work here at the tea rooms as well. So it's very well supported. Beautiful thatch roof. Yeah, a lovely thatch roof. High Hello. chimneys above the thatch was to prevent roof fires, you know, if the chimneys ever caught fire, the sparks would have a good chance to blow away from the roof. And in olden times, the thatch work wouldn't be finished to this detail. Nowadays, it's done by master thatchers. Yeah. The design on top is like the signature of the thatch. Oh. They all have a different design to finish their work. It's quite yeah. the chimneys. How yeah, often do you have to rethatch it? That lasts about 25 to 30 years. Yeah, yeah it's a good one, yeah. The reed would be the number one material really for thatch roofs, you know. And then you've the cathedral then behind, St. Mary's Roman Catholic Cathedral. 1842 the construction began, they didn't complete the cathedral until 1912. But there was a 10 year work stoppage because of the famine. Yeah. So a total of 60 years to build, you know. Yeah. Just outside the park. Yeah. Wasn't it the famine? Famine, 1845 to 1849. Yeah. yeah. My great 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 grandparents okay. were married in near Dublin in okay. 1860. Yeah. And did they immigrate? Yes, they yeah. went across the, the Manchester. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. There was over 2 million immigrated around the time in the famine, you know? Yeah. Ever recovered, no, no, it was 8.5 million back then. Yeah, about 5 now. About 5 million now, yeah. 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 Well, my last name is Foley, and there's plenty, Foley. Of, there's plenty of places. Oh, there's, there's plenty, plenty of Foley's here, yeah. yes, for sure. <laughs> yeah. You're very I, lucky to have Irish blood in you. I tried to, uh, <laughs> yeah. I tried to do a little genealogy, yeah. but the records are a little around yeah. the time of the famine. They, yeah, they got a little uh, lost. Foley is a very popular name. Yeah. Foley is bar, Foley is restaurant in the yeah. town there. You know, yeah, you know, we talk to them. Yeah. <laughs> What's your last name? Foley. Foley. Yeah. Uh, pretty popular too, it isn't is, it? Yeah. Foley is a popular one too. Yeah.
one is Stone Fort. Stone Fort down near Cahir Savine. Old Cahir Savine, yeah. But there's two of them. Cahir Gill, is it? I'm not too sure. Cahir Gill. Yeah. Yeah, on Valencia Island. On Valencia, yeah. Yeah. That was quite something. Yeah, Valencia is nice, yeah. You get the ferry across, yeah. and you drove back, drove back the bridge, yeah. Oh, look at the trees, Paul. Yeah, the oak tree that fell there during the storms. You see where you see these rushes growing, you know the land is quite wet. Uh. So when it rains a lot, this holds all the rainwater, you know. So the roots don't go that deep. You'll see many trees yeah, as we go down to the park. Yeah, you'll see many of them after falling, you know. Uh. And they make our way through the park. Just because they're very shallow roots, you know. So this park is open to anyone this who just wants to go for a walk. open to everybody, yeah. Uh -huh. Never closes. It's always open, you know. Lovely. Yeah. The last time this park closed was back in 2001 when we had the foot and mouth there, you know. Oh. Yeah. For the animals, yeah. And because you have the deer here, they had to close down the park. Mm. And because they farm it as well, they have the cattle here as well, you see. Yeah. These cattle would be owned by the National Park. They farm the land here themselves. Ooh. And it's all this particular breed they keep their Kerry cows. Okay. They're an old native dairy breed, Ooh. which are quite small in size. You know. So the farmers stop using them because they don't produce as much yeah. milk as the other dairy cows. So their numbers drop right down. Mm. So for heritage purposes, they keep a herd of them uh, in the farm. You stayed on a dairy farm in New Ross. Okay. Yeah, I knew Ross. Tommy Wax Yeah. Yep. That was fun. <laughs> but I, I mean, we've got a lot of cows in Canada, but I've never seen so many cows as I have since we've been yeah, here. I do. The problem is here now is that a lot of farmers are overstocked with cattle, you know. Ah. Because before you had the milk quotas, you know, you could only yeah. produce so much milk. <laughs> and then once you got your quota, you'd have to stop. But they've done away with the milk quotas, so now they reckon that there's over 300,000 more dairy cows in Ireland. Ooh, that's a lot. Now the problem is, Look at this the island is still the same size, so yeah. you can only produce a certain amount of fodder. Yeah. So there's a fodder crisis here now at the moment because of the, the warm weather we had in the summer. After they cut the hay and the silage, there was no growth. Mm -hmm. you know? Hello, Hi there. how are you doing? Good, thanks. <laughs> That was a heron that flew into the river there. It was a heron. A heron. There's a lot of blue herons there. They're feeding off the little trout in the river. Maybe small little trout there, little brown trout, you know. Oh. We have, yeah, we have dairy quotas in Canada. Yeah. But your milk and your butter and oh, amazing. We haven't had the cheese yet, but the oh, butter, yeah, the butter and, the and the milk. Yeah, and the oh, yeah. even the yogurt is amazing. There's the, the heron, look. Oh, look at the heron, Paul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking for a little bite to eat. Yeah, you'd sometimes see them catching the fish oh, there, there, you know. there he goes. We might catch them downstream. You have kingfishers here? No, kingfishers, no. 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 Do you know, you'd have a lot now along the river there would be the dippers, you know, the little dipper birds? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
going to outweigh this. Oh, there. Yeah, it goes. There it goes. Very nice. Very nice. Our great blue. Our great blue. Sorry, guys. Oh, there's some deer in there. some deer in there. Let me back up my sign on Yeah. Oh, right there. Oh, yeah. Right. There's Sika there. Sika, yeah. Sika. And they're a little Japanese deer. They are tiny, aren't they? The other deer we have in the park you know, is the native red deer. They're a lot bigger, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. The reds. Yeah, when we drove in um, back last night, we saw a bunch of deer by the highway. Did you drive to Ring a Kerry yourselves yesterday? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's so the challenge. You went counterclockwise? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's the way to do it because of the coaches, you know.